subscribers, welcome to this week's newsletter, Swing Tip. And this week we're, we're talking about the downswing and how to perform it correctly. Sounds like a simple thing to do, and really it is, but an awful lot of people I see tend to struggle with this area. And without it, we end up with a poor impact position, uh, which creates poor quality of strike, loss of distance, and probably most importantly, um, a swing path that's not correct, too much out to in, too much in to out. What I tend to see even with people with good setups, pretty good looking backswing positions, is they start their downswing very much with the hands and arms, so we see the club being slightly cast, so we lose this wrist angle fairly quickly at the start of the downswing. And then we see people at impact with the club head going past the hands and we see a lot of people with very flat footedness with their right foot. So the right foot is plastered to the ground and they're very much stuck in a kind of squashed in position coming into impact. That all comes from the fact that when you swing the club downwards, it should be led by the weight being moved into the left side and the body rotating which in turn pulls the club down into impact. But if we swing to the top and the arms go first then you can see my weight is stuck back on the right hand side trying to play catch up but unfortunately by this point here the club's normally bottomed out early so it's either hit the ground behind the ball or is coming back up by the time it reaches the golf ball and we can very simply pull the cross, pull the club across us, out to in, giving us pulls and slices, um, and a loss of power because we're not using our main body muscles to move the club. So a great little drill. It doesn't have to be a smash bag. It can be an old big pillow. Uh, stick it in a, or get an old sleeping bag, and put a pillow inside that and tie it up. Uh, something along those lines, just so you can stand there, as I am here, and practice swinging to the top of your backswing and then going into that impact position nice and firmly. And obviously it shows up exactly how you were at impact because your club gets forced to stop by the weight of the, of the, of the smash bag. Okay, so from the top of that position, we're leading the downswing with the body weight moving forward and then the chest and belt buckle turns through to the target which in turn pulls the club into impact. Simple thought, at impact, make sure your right foot's off the ground and the belt buckle as best as possible is starting to look towards where you're going as if you're throwing a ball. certainly not flat-footed. Hope that helps, it's going to give you much more power, better quality strike and some very enjoyable golf shots. Hope you enjoyed that quick swing tip. Uh, if there's anything else we can help you with please push the button, book a lesson and we'll see you soon. Many thanks.